That's right, guys. I found the ultimate CRUD app. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Over the past six months, I've been working on Roll Your Tweet and Micro SaaS. And during that time, I've launched an MVP, got tons of feedback from users, friends, and even developers. Well, what does this have to do with a video? Well, I believe every developer should create their own SaaS. But before you click off this video, because you don't want a business or you don't want to commit, just hear me out. By the end of this video, you'll understand why I believe this is true. Creating a SaaS is the ultimate CRUD application. It takes all the elements you've learned over the weeks, months, years that you've been writing code for, but with a more production based emphasis. But James, I hear you cry. I'm maybe not ready to make a SaaS. Maybe I don't have the time commitment. Maybe I don't have the knowledge, but Hear me out here, it's never been more accessible to start a SaaS than today. So let's break down a stack that you can build a full SaaS with, with less code than you think. Let's start with the hardest part of any application, authentication. Gone are the days of you rolling your own auth, sobbing into a keyboard trying to figure out how JWTs, refresh tokens, storage, and so much more works in a single place. The offering out there now is absolutely insane, and it's easier than ever to get started. So my pick would be Clerk. Clerk has really revolutionized how authentication, session handling, user management, user metadata, and it supports all of these great modern frameworks. Next.js, Remix, React, Node, vanilla JavaScript, whatever you know, Clerk can handle. It has really minimum setup and it has a great set of components to make your app look great and cut down on development time. It also offers great user management so the user can see sessions and all sorts of interesting things in their profile. And it has support for SSR with Next.js. Databases. I remember they used to be this complex mystery box where you had a bunch of DB admins making wild changes to a database using crazy update commands. Now it's a lot different. You don't even need a DB admin and you can do most of it from a GUI. My pick currently is PlanetScale with Prisma. PlanetScale makes a MySQL database the easiest it could ever be. And it gives you GitHub style branching and easy deployments. Prisma, on the other hand, allows you to basically use JavaScript-like commands, for example, users.findMany, and that will find all of your users where a specific clause is true, making it really easy to understand how to make all these requests, whether it's an update, whether it's a create, delete, or just a find, and reduce that amount of time it takes to make all of those queries happen. Well, let's talk about frameworks. My choice is obviously going to be Next.js. It's one of my favorite frameworks. It really gets out of the way and allows you to do things like SSG, SSR, CSR, and a bunch of other stuff that makes it really easy. If you've never used it before, now's the time to get started. It's released a lot of new features from back when I started using it, where even images were kind of supported. Payments, you want somebody to pay for your SaaS. Well, if you're gonna make this production ready, you've got a few options. One, Stripe, the other, Paddle. My pick would be Paddle. Paddle uses Stripe behind the scenes, but it offers an easier integration and a better webhook system than Stripe on its own. With a few lines of code, you can have a checkout ready, and then a few more, you can start handling webhooks right from your application. And the final piece of the puzzle, email services. You got things like SendGrid, MailChimp, and even SendinBlue. SendinBlue has been my top pick recently for any kind of email services. 
It's really nice, has great automation, and a nice free tier. You can send up to 300 emails a day, which is more than enough to get started. People worry about the cost. Running a stack like this, for example, will cost you exactly zero dollars. Being able to run a SaaS with zero dollars in the beginning allows you to onboard paying customers as well as maybe offer a free tier before you even have to factor in any cost. So there you have it, my stack to create a workable SaaS for zero dollars with top infrastructure as a service. This is the ultimate CRUD app. If you have made it to the end of this video, make sure to hit it a like, comment for the algorithm, and of course, stay subscribed if you want to learn about the Jamstack, web development, and running SASs.